<clears throat> What's up boys, Petko here. Today we're gonna talk about the preparation before the expansion. I know you guys have been very excited, including myself, one and a half days before the War Within Early Access begins. But before this, several quick tips from your boy. 10 minutes, no more. I will leave the more comp comprehensive slash detailed guides down below from, from much smarter people than I am. I'll give you my plan, what I plan to do. Let's begin. TLDR. First thing first, the time before the 22nd of August, aka from now until tomorrow. What do you gotta do? Several simple things. Clear your bank, clear your backpack, repair your gear, sell the useless junk. Second thing, you can buy gun shoes. They're pretty helpful, especially in outdoor, give you a lot of moving speed and walk under on water. Goblin gliders help you to reset combat if you get if you pull like 20,000 mobs. Jump from a ledge, use the goblin glider, reset combat using a dragon flying mount. Easy. Third thing, light step hoof plates give you extra mount speed, insanely valuable. Right bonefish, one of the most underrated stuff people are, I keep forgetting, giving you moving speed as soon as you kill an enemy. Beautiful. Buy potions, don't cheap out. Any potions that gives you damage, it will help you, you're gonna do more damage, etc. Flasks, they're dirt cheap. Buy any flask that gives you that damage. Don't cheap out, okay? Those are kind of the basics what I consider before the expansion. Again, there are other things to min-max, but that's pretty much what I have found to be the most useful. You can park your character in front of the Dalaran. That's where you, you're going to begin pretty much the expansion. So you can save like extra 30 seconds. But if you're just like me, you don't care about this kind of stuff, that's all enough. So keep in mind, the leveling process takes between like 7 hours-ish. At least for me, it took 7 hours. I'm a bit of a pleb. With leveling, if you min max, maybe less. If you have better gear, maybe less. I tried with like a 505 item level, I felt pretty comfortable. If you have better than this, if you're a better class with a better self sustain, you probably get it faster. I'm a pleb. That's pretty much what I gotta do from now until tomorrow. That's it. Moving forward. I'm gonna link this by the way below. This spreadsheet is gonna be linked down below, made by a much smarter person than I am. Next thing. Found another post. Well, I guess my stream found a post that is going to be useful for you. What to do once the Epic Edition, uh, or sorry, early launch begins from the 22nd until the 25th or 26th, I guess. So, all you got to do is don't panic. The early access is not going to give you any real player power. Do not FOMO. Fear of missing out. Okay. Level up. Priority is to level up your main, your odds. When leveling your main, make sure to complete all the campaign. Very important. That unlocks your world quest. World quest is going to help your odds have them immediately. Very important. Do your campaign. All of it. Now, keep in mind, only campaign is not going to give you max level. I think you're going to end up at like 78-ish. So, on the... Alongside, you might want to do some, let's say, dungeon questing. Maybe pop a delve in to check what's up. Maybe do some extra side quests. Doesn't really matter. If you see a rare, kill a rare, okay? It doesn't really matter. That's what you got to focus on. After that, you can choose. Do a normal dungeons if you're out of level, let's say, 80. Do delves. I will do neither of them. I don't really care about this. Normal dungeons, nobody cares. Unless you want to level in them, fine. Delves, nobody cares at this point right now. I wouldn't really do them... The first couple of days. I'm just going to focus on leveling. My main, my three olds, done. That's it. Now, what to do when the expansion starts? Pretty much from the 26th until the, the 9th. Or, I guess, 10th of September. First of all, Twitch drops are going to become active on this channel. You're going to be able to get some legacy mounts and cool pets, etc. If you guys are not familiar, I'll make a video about it. Pretty much watch the stream for like four hours. I don't know if every stream is going to be available. Mine will be. You get a pet, you get a mount, whatever. That's the bonus stuff. This is where the expansion pretty much starts for everybody. You already will be level 80 if you have already the Epic Edition. If you're not, do exactly what I just said a few minutes ago. Copy paste. Here onwards, as you guys can see, your item level from normal dungeons will become 554. You can use the regular crafters here, the, the, the um, items you'll be getting to craft, to craft items, because those are going to be replaced very quickly. Okay, but, but this is now very important. Allegedly, unconfirmed, there is going to be a weekly cache. Not confirmed so far. 
a weekly cash starting from the reset. So as soon as the reset happens, let's say on Tuesday for NA, Wednesday for Europe, Thursday for every other region, like for example, Taiwan, Taiwanese, Chinese, etc. There is going to be from here onward, these days are going to count towards the weekly vote, which I pretty much is going to give you whenever you do eight heroic dungeons, three choices or delves, they're going to give you also three choices, etc. Unconfirmed, but if this is true, that's going to be insanely huge. So you got to do at least I'm going to do eight heroic dungeons. I will probably do like each dungeon once just to give it a try. I will collect some gear. I'll get my weekly vote. That's pretty much it. Now you see those deals that are called Bountiful, you need, you need to have a specific keys that you get to unlock the Bountiful, TLDR has been talked a lot, um, you get those Bountiful keys by pretty much completing world events, like whether you're gonna dig dirt or like, you know, do all the world questing or just kill any rares, I'm not sure about rares, but you, you are to collect some kind of um, materials that you can later use to unlock Bountiful, my advice, what I would do, I, I'm not an expert, but I would do myself, I would not do any Bountiful Delve ever from here to here. I would just collect everything that I have in terms of keys or fragments, whatever they call, and I'll start using them right here. Because for me, the most important thing is to make sure I get the best possible loot starting from the 9th or 10th of September until the, the 16th or 17th. Because that's the final week before... Mythic Plus opens. I'm Mythic Plus player, by the way. So I'm going to use any kind of um, upgrades here. For example, uh, whatever loot you get from Heroic, you might want to consider uh, just not upgrading them as much or just not touching them at all. Just save your currencies. Unless, unless the currencies are, for example, something that you're going to replace immediately and you don't really ever use, right? So for example, if you get some piece from, like, let's say, Tier 3 Dev or, like, let's say a normal dungeon and you would not use the resources for like later on then you could update it no problem upgrade it sorry other than this i would wouldn't really do anything specific again those votes are not 100 percent confirmed but if they are i would say 99 percent you gotta do eight heroic per each old or main if you want to have three choices if not just one is fine too that's pretty much all you gotta do between those two weeks pretty boring nothing i know it's surprising now, this is where the fun begins, starting from the 9th or 10th of September. This is where officially season begins. That's where we're going to be able to have Mythic Zeros, uh, Heroic Rating, LFR Wing 1, and Normal Rating. My plan here would be immediately jump and do all the Mythic Zeros. Why? Because they're going to count, count towards my weekly vote. All Mythic Zeros at least once. I'm going to try to do all the normal raid. Again, I, I, I always plug the normal raid with my stream. I'm going to probably make like a 30-man party or some shit like that. Uh, do LFR wing 1 to get, try to get a tier set. I'm going to be able here to craft one item. Again, I'm not sure what I'm going to craft. What embellishment, every single speaking class is different. I suggest you check your local guide. Where are you going to go? Twice events, wildhead, doesn't really matter. And if you can, clear heroic raid. That is also additional level for you. I level, I guess. That's pretty much what my plan here would be. So once again, I want to save all the bountiful keys that I'll be getting during this week and use them right here because allegedly spamming delves on a higher level than, than 8 or around 8 will guarantee you to have better loot than Mythic Zeros, which is crazy. Uh, bountiful especially. So again, as soon as the 9th or 10th of um, August begins, here is pretty much when Mythic Zero opens, Delves are going to open above 3, so let's say Delve 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8 gives the best gear you can get from them. If you want to do 9, 10, 11, those are not going to give you better gear. They're just going to give you cosmetics and achievements. If you want to flex that you have done a plus 10 Delve, then do it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't flex. I don't care. I'm just going to do plus 8. I'll spam. I'm probably going to play with a full group because it's going to be easy on Delves. Uh, but if you are a good, I guess, pick that can clear deals easily, then just roll with it alone, you know. I think that's about it. You know, that's pretty much about what I, what I would do myself. I try to keep it short. Again, I'm going to link all the guides down below. Uh, last thing but not least, starting from the 17th of um, 
uh, of, of September, that's when the Mythic Plus opens, and then from here onwards, it's only Mythic Plus, Mythic Raiding, and Heroic Raiding, and nothing else, and obviously crafting, etc. You're gonna get a weekly quest, weekly, weekly quest uh, starting, I believe, from this reset right here. From here onwards, you'll be getting a weekly quest, which by completing, you'll be getting the uh, fragment that you can later, later have a spark on. You know, as far as as far as I could remember, again I leveled a while ago. That's where pretty much you had to do, do the weekly quest, but you will never miss it. It's kind of like obvious; it's gonna be right in front of your face. I think that's boys. I can go a little bit more in depth here. I can probably spend two hours talking. I think on stream we made like what two and a half hours stream about preparation. So I try to give you all the details. TLDR, ten minutes. I didn't want to bore you to that. I will link all of these guides down below, made by much smarter men than I am. I will see you guys in World Return. Thank you for once, once again for joining me in the YouTube journey and a lot more content to come in the upcoming days slash weeks. Peace out. Have a good one. I'll see you live on stream. Lounge day, baby. Bye for now. See you guys.